Hey you guys, I heard a ridiculous thought and I've seen this many times and I'm like, you know what, let me just debunk it real quick. This isn't going to be a long video, but you know, the narcissistic abuse community is growing, you guys. A lot of new faces, a lot of familiar faces. Um, I don't follow any of the channels, but things pop up in my suggestions just based off of... Um, the nature of my channel, you know, not that I'm watching anyone else's, but just reading the titles and I'm like, oh, and I don't like, you know, um, people giving misinformation, you know, I think, um, you know, anyone can make a YouTube channel, obviously, and get on it and talk and say things and make statements and, you know, and unfortunately, um, if you run into some of these channels, you may get the wrong information. But either way, um, this person stated that the narcissist never gets over you, never gets over old supply. Well, let me tell you right now that most of the time they do actually get over it. It's just they have the way that they do it is with someone else. You know, that whole concept of, well, you get over the old person with a new person, the narcissist, this is, this is their comfort zone. So that's what they're doing. They're not, um, with the new person, heartbroken about things not working out for you. Chances are this is not going on with them because we have to remember they have attachment and detachment issues. They're not attached to you in the way that you were attached to them. And then when we consider that, you know, they have issues with empathy as well. Okay. So that part of their brain is not functioning as yours as well. So this isn't another empath. This person isn't all fully lovey-dovey. You know, this was a selfish, um, sometimes very cold hearted individual, that was just out for themselves to begin with. You know, the whole setup of the situation wasn't for intimacy and love and care. So when they're done with you, it's an object that they have no further use for, whether it was because you grew in your self-worth and your self-esteem and they couldn't manipulate it, manipulate you anymore, or you just realized what they were and you weren't willing to, you know, passively um, invite that energy and that experience into your life over and over in cycles of abuse, whatever it was. Um, and maybe they just bumped into another supply who was just as naive, but had more to offer and whatever it is that they were seeking. So you were yesterday's news. I really don't know what it was. You know, it could be a lot of situations, but either way they get over it. Okay. While you're, you're behind picking up your, your psychological aspects or your mental and your feelings and your emotions because you were attaching to them in a way that they weren't attaching to you. All right. So to me, you know, I'm very careful about always and never those type of statements that don't allow for exceptions. That's why, you know, you hear my verbiage is a little bit different. I'll say, well, most of the time, more than likely, or generally speaking, you know, I'll say stuff like that because there are exceptions to a rule, of course. Can you be the one that got away? Yes. But can they get over it? Yeah. Because we have to also remember that this person lies to their external world and they lie to themselves internally as well, you know, and they do this for self-preservation because if they were to really get honest with themselves and look in a mirror and really see things out of, you know, the root of truth, you know, it would make them feel um, shame and guilt. You know, these are things that they don't want to feel, of course, and um, they don't want to have to take accountability. We already know stuff like this. And if you don't, now you do. Okay. Welcome to my channel. Lots of reinforcing videos to help you understand these things. All right. But either way, um, they can get over Okay, they can get over because love wasn't there. That wasn't, they weren't your real friend. You know, even if they were a family member, you know, blood is not always thicker than water. You know, we are, um, we can't project our own human feelings, our own human um, 
lenses onto them because they are operating out of a different kind of morale, you know, a different type of way of dealing with people in their internal and external environment. And we're on opposite ends of the spectrum in certain kinds of ways. All right, you guys. So the narcissist can get over you. Okay. Is they're just choosing to do it with another's supply. That's what they're choosing to do. And that is sufficient. Yes, it is actually sufficient for them when it is anyway. All right. So I hope that this clears out and debunk it because some of these titles and some of these videos that I see coming out <laughs> in the community, I'm like, whoa, whoa. But, you know, if you've stumbled across my channel, welcome. You know, you're going to get the truth here, of course, um, not to you know, go against anybody else per se, but you really have to be careful who you're getting your wise counsel from. Okay. Be very careful with that. All right. So if this video resonated with you, go ahead and hit that like button. You guys, I'm just here on a Sunday, you know, addressing some things that have been on my mind. Um, take what you can out of my videos, of course, to help you on your journey. If you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can visit my website, LakeaCrawford.com and schedule your appointment for a voice call, a FaceTime or email coaching. If you've been financially abused and you still want to get that coaching session, join my Patreon monthly memberships for $24.99, which isn't even $25 a month. You can go ahead and um, set up your first one hour coaching session with me you guys so there's many ways that you can get that done and you know i help people from where they are other resources are my support groups you can look into that down in the descriptions four books that i've written you can look into that down in the description you guys and i have another youtube channel for my family oriented survivors um, we laugh and we have fun i vlog my family life and all that great stuff if you are interested in that um, you can check out the link down below in the description as well. All right, you guys. And with that being said, never give up on yourself. Continue to do the work, of course. <laughs> and until next time, please take care.